this protocol provided a template for future multiple center RCT of chamber chamber bags. The protocol is concise, balances scientificity and uh, clinical maneuverability, so as to provide practical model for the future research. This method could be used as a reference for studies of parentally administered medical nutrition, especially for triple chamber bags. Uh, RCT is difficult to uh, design and implement. A reference to a similar protocol may be a shortcut for somebody who entered this field for the first time. And part of design and implementation of this study can be clearly presented by text. To ensure a correct dosage for each of the treatments and keep the consistency of prescriptions, give each research site a table containing the exact PN composition of different weights. Administer the treatments to each participant through a peripheral intravenous catheter via a control pump. If an infusion is not possible or inadvisable via peripheral IV, infuse the study treatment via a peripherally inserted central catheter or a central IV line. Gradually increase the flow rate during the first hour to 50 to 100 milliliters per hour and deliver the treatment for 12 to 22 hours for at least 5 and up to 14 days. On days 1 through 5, administer only the study treatment. To assess the primary efficacy outcome measure of the serum pre-albumin level, on day 5, obtain 2 to 3 milliliter peripheral venous blood samples from a contralateral appendage from the peripheral IV study treatment participant.